glide ratio is the ratio of the forward distance traveled to the vertical distance when it is operating without power. This ratio shows how many units forward compared to how many units of descent or put another way, lost height. In the diagram shown, the diagram on the left shows a typical training airplane glide ratio of 11 to 1. This means for every one unit of lost height, it will travel 11 units forward. You can replace the term units with feet or meters or millimeters. It doesn't matter what you replace it with. It just means the same thing. On the far side of the ratio, a glider, which is made for gliding, will have around a ratio of 20 to 1. That means for every one unit of lost height, it will travel forward 20 units. That's nearly twice as efficient as our training airplane. So the glide ratio is an important figure, as it tells us how far we will travel if we lose engine power. The lift to drag ratio determines the glide angle. So the only two things which can affect the glide angle are lift and drag. Once the best glide speed or best glide angle are achieved there is no way of increasing lift or reducing drag. Any change from the best angle or speed is negative to performance. Remember, the angle of attack is what sets the best glide performance. But as it is expensive to have an angle of attack meter in light aircraft, the angle is converted into a speed. This is fairly accurate. 